This is our, well, they got this kind of screwed up. Where's our other trike? This is our adaptive hand cycle section. Oh, wow. These are all hand cycles. Okay. And People this is a stand-up cycle, but, oh, nuts. Okay. Is that, I got to get this off this mat. There we go. Uh, yes. This is called an accelerator. It's It kind of looks like, and when you're in it, it kind of feels like you're in a wheelchair. Your feet are here strapped in if you need them strapped in. But it's amazing how fast this goes. This is the drivetrain. So the drive is into the front wheel. Okay. And it's got an internal hub for shifting. Okay. But it's amazing how well this goes. Now, we and this is the same thing, except for it's a trike based or more of delta. This or is a tadpole. Exactly. And this actually is designed. This is a hardcore mountain trike for quadriplegics. Okay. Well, the, I legs, see e -assist. the legs go here. It's got E assist, but it's also got hand pedals. And these are what's known as quad grips. The, the, the quadriplegic that can't hold on themselves puts mm -hmm. their arm through here. So they can, even without being strapped onto the pedals, they can, they can pedal. Now, this is, the, this is the ultimate extreme adaptive trike right here. Right. Okay. So, uh, but nobody's left out. If nobody. they want to do it, they can do it. Mike, I've got to show you when we get a chance. We rigged up a, a top end makes a lot of hand cycles, generally for paraplegics, mm -hmm. people who can't walk. Well, we got a top end Force 3, which is a low road trike with a big wheel in front, two small ones in the rear. Drive in the front like this, but you're sitting low and you really go. And we adapted that for a quadriplegic young gal. So she, we, we had to, we we did we ended up creating our own for that one leg i guess you call them leg troughs that were very comfortable for her she's all of 105 pounds right right and and uh, we replaced the whole drivetrain because we needed something that would have a wide range of gears where is this is this is um, great uh anyway so we've done quite a bit with that when when uh that's why we have the adaptive hand cycles yeah but, and as, so is this could also could this be uh, throttle controlled? This one also has an e-assist. Okay. Yes, it does. This is the battery in front. This is called a nuke, and and it's uh, it comes from uh, Crested Butte, Colorado. Uh, Jake O'Connor is the fellow. He's a paraplegic himself. He was he was made a para in, when he was building homes in in uh, uh, Crested Butte, and a wall fell on him. Wow. But he was an avid cyclist, so he started creating his own paraplegic uh, adapted cycles plus these quad. You so let's see, this mm -hmm. is quad grips. And in this case, since it's a mountain bike, uh, the the actual brake on this wheel, the quad has their their hand through that. Thing, right. and the actual brake is activated by moving the arm. Ah, okay. okay. Very good. So the adaptations on this are incredible. This this trike is about an $18,000 trike. Yeah, it's worth every penny. Of but it. it's incredible. This is the Bafang motor for And if you see, I want to get a video of some Jake. I want to ask him if he's got, uh, he'll give us permission to use his videos for our display. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because he takes these on the Crest Butte Mountain Trail. Oh, beautiful. Trail. If you have any of your viewers that are, they, they're pro if they've been to Crested Butte, they're probably familiar with the 401 Trail. It is one nasty trail, no. even on a two-wheel full suspension mountain bike. I've done it. I've cratered. Yeah, I've, no. I've recratered. I, I'm past that. <laughs> Jake is still riding that on a trike like this. Oh, my gosh. And he's always got one wheel off the trail because it won't fit right, on Right, it won't fit on the bike. trail. So one wheel's going over boulders and stuff, and the other one's on the trail. Amazing. Barely. But he is one yeah, strong uh, son of a gun. Uh, I'd like to see that too. This is this also doubles as our parts room, and we have another mechanic stand here. This is where the guys usually work on the bikes here or up front. Okay. But this is parts that really customers are not. They don't. This is not stuff you display for customers. To sure. Get. It's brake pads. Yeah. And yeah. All these different things. 
So this That's is probably our, what I need for my wife's strike. What's that? Brake pads. Yes. Yeah.